All right, guys, we are back doing some more Shane Gillis in which we have a compilation lined up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, Can't wait. Let's see. 20 minutes of Shane Gillis. That's right. I don't know your dad, your dad was gay. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. We're all adults. We all agree the Special Olympics is a good, it's a good program. It's great. I just feel like the guy who came up with it had to be like a real risk taker. <laughs> Some guy in a board meeting, like, I got an idea. We should be racing these motherfuckers. Oh. <laughs> like, what did you say? Like, fucking you know, town over said they had the fastest ones. Uh. So we settle it, you know? I'm not making fun of the Olympians. The concept is wild. It's a wild, like if your best friend invented the Special Olympics and told you about it first, you'd be like, don't ever tell anybody that. <laughs> Who the fuck were you gonna tell that to? What are you doing? Pole vault? <laughs> <laughs> Can't do the cool moves you see in porn. Just do regular. You ever try them? You ever think you can? You ever try, like, come in a girl's face? They're a lot less receptive in real life. <laughs> that whole process is a fucking nightmare, dude. It's a disaster. It's just you, the girl you love is down there. You've been begging her for three months to try this. Finally, she's like, yeah, you can do it. You're like, yes! It's gonna be just like the videos I watch every day. That's my favorite part. <laughs> now you get to do it. You think it's gonna be awesome. It's not. It's just you up there, alone. It's cold. It's just... <clears throat> <laughs> she's being nice. She's like, are you okay? Now you can feel it. You're like, all right, here it comes. This is going to be awesome. She's going to love this. And as soon as it hits them, they freeze. And then once it's on, they like don't know how to move. You know what I mean? Like you ever put like socks on a cat? And then you feel bad because the cum's out of you and you realize what you've done. You feel terrible. You got to fucking pick her up off the ground. It's like the same energy as like when a toddler falls. You're like, come here, get up. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. I'll oh never do it again. God. That's funny. Uh, I've heard of astrology and belly button rings. I feel like those go hand the girls in hand. Still, yeah, they do. The girls, are you guys still getting belly button rings? I don't know. I haven't fucked a whore lately. Oh! Damn! No, I was retarded there a couple times. Oh, my, my God. Bad. I'm not trying to give myself a pass on being able to use that word, but I will say, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, I do have family members with Down syndrome. It almost got me up. <laughs> I dodged it, but it nicked me. It nicked me. Bit of a day walker myself. <laughs> My Uncle Danny sneaks grilled cheese sandwiches into restaurants just in case they don't serve grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't know where he's getting these fucking things. It's the best. It's the best. You'll be out to dinner with him. You look across the table, you see him sneaking at grilled cheese. Just... Why? <laughs> yo, yo, where'd you get that cheese, Danny? His dad's with him. He's like, that fucker, he's been making him at night. I know he is. <laughs> I'm not making him at night, Dad. Oh. <laughs> and he'll look at you and be like, I'm making him at night. <laughs> my favorite part of the year was I, uh, I got to watch my dad watch the news. He's a Fox News guy. Fox News oh, dad. That's a good oh. fucking dad. Can you imagine if you had a fucking MSNBC dad? Some guy every night at dinner like, we need to start focusing on renewable energy. <laughs> Ew, dude, I didn't know dad was gay. Talking to me about solar panels like a fucking lady. He might have her straight as hell, dude. We fucking hate the environment. That's how straight we are. All we talk about is eating pussy and fracking. Like every Fox News dad, my dad watches Fox every night until he can't. They watch every night until they get so angry they have to go to bed. My dad will watch for like two hours and then out of nowhere he'll just stand up and be like, fucking Mr. Potato Heads, trance, I'm going to bed. This world's going to hell. Fox News is basically black church for old white dudes. You know what I mean? Like literally everything they say, my dad just sits there like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, preach, Tucker. Once in a while, he gets hit with the Holy Spirit while he's watching it. The Holy Ghost visits him. He's just like, oh, Lord, build a wall. Give me a wall. White people used to be cool in America. The height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see? And then the day white people stopped being cool was Jackie Robinson's. <laughs> man, see? It was like the, the gang gangster years. <laughs> We used to be cool in America. The height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see? And then the day white people stopped being cool, it was Jackie Robinson's first game. You can look it oh. up. You can, you, can find it. you can find the radio call from that game online. You can hear the exact moment white people stopped being cool. You can hear the announcers. They still got there like, man. Well, I'm to Chicago <laughs> with the White Sox take on the Brooklyn Dodgers. We all had cool white nicknames. 
Like, up at the mound is old Curly. He's a 47-year-old alcoholic. He's the greatest <laughs> athlete alive. Runs a six-second, 40-yard dash. Fastest man alive, they say. Then it happened, dude. And Jackie came up to the plate. You can hear the announcers like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the plate is Young Codbar from Brooklyn. No way he can hit Curly's pitch. Here comes the pitch. Fuck, home run. All right. <laughs> Jackie hit the ball so hard he knocked that voice out of all the whites. Not one of us has talked like that since. In one swing of the bat, we're like, meh. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was pretty good. That was good. It's time for us to focus on computers. Autistic kids, they're like cats. A little skittish. You're not sure if they like you at all. Down syndrome or dogs? Oh my God. Wow. They're the dogs, dude. You get home. You get home from somewhere. They're like, where the f have you been, dude? I got so much to show you. This is gonna be the best day. Damn. Tell it, ask a Down syndrome kid, do you want to go for a walk? But like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> throw a ball. <laughs> throw a oh ball. Look we'll at on Twitter, and the first tweet Yikes. I see will be someone from back home that's just like, fucking Colin Kaepernick better stand up. <laughs> like this tweet if you support the police. <laughs> Share it if you're not gay. <laughs> Share it. <laughs> and the next post is just one of my new woke white friends that's just like, I'm not racist. That's it. Every day for the last year, just a different white person popping up. Like, look at me. Look at this article I shared to my Instagram story. I'm not racist, right? Like, All right. <laughs> you sure? So I don't know if you know this. Like, being racist isn't like a yes or no thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. It's like... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> this guy, he is a savage. <laughs> yes or no thing. You know what I mean? It's not like you have it or you don't have it. Like, being racist is more, it's like being hungry. You know? It's like, yeah, you're not right now. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're not hungry right now, but a cheeseburger could cut you off on the highway. Oh. We're hungry all day. <laughs> the cheeseburger's Jewish in that joke. <laughs> No, no, I'm I do this thing. It's not a good thing, but whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look. Women don't respect it. Kind of oh, makes me look this. like a bitch. Yeah. I like it. I, <laughs> I can't stop doing it. And normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird. He wants to hang out with kids. Like, that bad. You know, I'm like, this one's tough. This is a tough ex to make fun of. It's when I'm walking around the apartment all day, just <laughs> fucking Navy SEALs. They're kind of pussies, if you really think about it. You know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude. You know who's actually brave? Al-Qaeda. That takes courage that and bravery. Yeah, that was pajamas, so throwing rocks at tanks. <laughs> Heroic shit, dude. Just you and your boys going out. In flip-flops. You're all gonna get fucked up. For real, though, it was my favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night the United States killed the leader of ISIS, Trump comes out of the situation room at like midnight and gives a press conference like he's giving a post-game NBA <laughs> just killed a guy press conference he goes Abu Bakar <laughs> out back daddy is dead he died like a dog <laughs> and I didn't change one word of that that's what he opened with and then he did 40 minutes the speech is 40 minutes for no reason it wasn't a prepared speech he freestyled 40 straight not even a speech just mean shit talk for 40 the meanest shit talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. <laughs> we could hear him crying. I said, Abu, don't cry. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Abu cried. He cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> cry baby back daddy. That's what we were all calling. <laughs> like as big as racism is in America, football. <laughs> There's a Disney oh. movie, Remember oh. the Titans, dedicated to what I just told you. The whole point of that, dude, that was one high school football season. Remember the Titans was like, it was eight weeks. That whole town went from like centuries of like, don't let them in our school, to just like, oh shit, the high school team's 4-0? Oh. Those are my brothers. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is if you want to get rights in America, you just got to put together a good football team. You know what I mean? If the transgenders got together and put oh. together just a fucking hard nose, run it down your throat ball club. If the transgenders just three yards in a cloud of dust of transgenders. 
If the trans, if the trans community could just somehow upset Alabama, everybody down there tomorrow would be like, those are some tough bitches, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I go to another country, as soon as I get out of the airport and start like driving around, I'm just like, dude, this is your fucking country, dude? Other countries suck. Yeah, America is number one. It's, <laughs> it's official. I've been to like three other countries. It's official. And other countries hate it too. They hate that we're number one. You ever tell them? You ever go to another country and tell them we're number one? Swim up to like a pool oh. bar. Just, oh. <laughs> you know, we're number one. They hate it, dude. They try to bring up bullshit to bring us down. Like, what about all the mass shootings you guys have all the time? It's like, they do that at least we're not moments. gay. <laughs> oh. oh. You know? There's really not a good comeback to that, because that's a pretty serious problem. <laughs> We're the only country doing that. We're not making any adjustments. <laughs> no. What, are we going to give up our guns like a bunch of fucking gay guys? <laughs> yeah, right, dude. No, we just have shootings all the time. Yeah. Australian accent's one of those accents that's funny every single time. You could be in the middle of a fucking tragedy if you heard an Australian accent. You'd still be like... <laughs> Like, if there was, like, an Australian guy in the office on 9-11... Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck, look out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is terrible! That is terrible! Australian accent, you'd still be like... <laughs> like, if there was, like, an Australian guy in the office on 9-11... Like, oh, fuck, look out! <laughs> oh, no, there's another one, get down! <laughs> oh, fuck, it's hot up here, you're gonna have to jump out! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, oh, man! The first time, like, Congress had to come up with age of consent. Oh. That had to be, like, the powdered wigs and stuff, that had to be a rough day for the fellas. <laughs> it's like some guy coming up first, like... From Rhode Island, 12. And everyone's like, ew, oh. ew. No, oh. dude. I, I don't know. Why'd I have to go first on this one? It's like the hardest one to go first on. Sexually, I have to, I have to follow a fucking Navy SEAL. They never quit <laughs> until the job's done. Dude. That's their whole thing. I quit a lot, all right? The job's done when I'm tired, which is usually... <laughs> Pretty early into the mission, <laughs> my arms start shaking pretty early. They give out. Next thing you know, we're having belly-to-belly -belly missionary. <laughs> Just hunched over, breathing in her ear like a pug for five minutes. <laughs> Just coughing. Coughing during sex is funny. Just <clears throat> you, you guys know belly-to-belly -belly missionary, dude. Don't fucking... I saw this crowd, dude. I see you, boy. A lot of belly-to-belly -belly tonight, dude. This guy's hunched over. Just... <laughs> you don't even think about that noise you're making in that poor woman's ear. Every woman in this room has heard that noise. You've never thought... The only way I can describe it is, like, you ever lay down and a dog starts sniffing your ear? That's what it sounds like. Every... Just... <laughs> oh, any army throughout... The gayer the army, the scarier. It's forever. Dude, throughout history. Think of any army throughout history. Imagine them gay. Oh. Gay Nazis? Just when you thought those guys couldn't look any sharper, they... <laughs> gay Vikings? Gay Vikings, dude. You're just some villager looking out on the shoreline, see a bunch of Viking longships coming. You're like, oh, no. It's the Vikings. They're going to rape our wives and daughters. Then they pull up their fucking rainbow flag on their boat. And just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> And the women ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's way worse. My roommate, his girlfriend played college volleyball. So I'm very excited to, like, shit on volleyball whenever I can. Yeah. So I get in there, and I was like, yo, volleyball is fucking, that's a weird culture. Get them fucking shorts. Get them gym shorts. Dude. The shorts they're wearing is gross. And she was like, no, we need those shorts for speed on the court. And I was like, uh, I, I know that's not true. I watched the NBA. Oh. None of you are moving as fast as, like, a ref. And those guys are wearing, like, slacks and dress shoes for some reason. She was like, no, we need those shorts. The tight shorts, they're essential. She compared them to, like, a helmet in football. I was like, I know they're not essential because I Googled the, uh, the Special Olympics volleyball team. Uh... All of a sudden, those shorts weren't so essential for them. 
<laughs> What's that about? How baggy do you think they're? They look like the fucking N1 mixtape out there. <laughs> Offensively baggy is how I would describe all of their attires. I'm not discounting the fact it's hard it's for families. It is. Yeah. I've witnessed it firsthand. It's difficult. It's very scary at first. And then you quickly realize that's easily the only good family member we have. That's the only good person I know. They're the bros, dude. They're the perfect bro. They love two things, dude. They love John Cena. Across the board, dude. You see one of these dudes out in public, hit him with a phone. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna give it back. They love them. And they love tits. <laughs> Dudes with Down syndrome love tits, and it's a very uncomfortable truth for a lot of people. And I'm not sure why. Tits rule. John Cena rules. It's kind of the two coolest things. <laughs> this joke's probably not going to make it, but... <laughs> All right, hear this one out. Dudes right. with Down syndrome love women so much. I've never been a believer of being gay is a choice, but I will say every dude I know that can't think fucking loves pussy. <laughs> Republican yet, but I will uh, say, I don't care if they arrest him. If he loses the primary, let him debate, dude. If he gets arrested, Hannibal Lecter him out to the fuck. Just, here's my idea. Final debate of the year. I have one Republican candidate, one Democrat. You're like, all right, fellas. Surprise third guest tonight. <laughs> Fucking stone cold music, the glass shatters. He walks out. <laughs> They're both gay. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually important to see how the candidates handle that type of pressure of debating with Trump. Every debate, he just bullied whoever was up there. The yeah. only one who did pretty good in the debates against him was Biden, just because he had no fucking idea. <laughs> which actually helped him. That worked out for him. Because Trump's whole thing is he tries to get in the other guy's head. Can't get in Joe's head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in there. Good luck. Right. Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit talking contest. He can't get Biden. He, every debate he's trying so hard, and Biden's just. <laughs> he tries. He's so true. You're a loser. You son did crack. Biden's just. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, that's actually a pretty good comeback. My windows. Every year, Hooters would sponsor our one basketball tournament. All right? So every year, Hooters would bring, like, three or four waitresses, and they would present, like, a big cardboard check donation to the Special Olympics. As soon as the girls entered the gym, the game changed <laughs> entirely, dude. It went from, like, hugs and sportsmanship to just, like, dudes got competitive, like, very competitive. <laughs> Fucking ripping down rebounds, just hitting layups. And... <laughs> 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 and then at the end of the game, there'd be a hug line between the waitresses and the players. Oh, no. And yeah, that went about exactly, exactly how you would imagine that went. We had to break out the fucking jaws of life, dude. <laughs> My boys are ragdolling those young sluts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm not knocking the, the, the players. They were totally in the right. The girls were hot. The waitresses, like every year, I would sneak into the hug line myself. <laughs> That's the thing about these countries. I was just in England, Scotland, Ireland, Australia. No black people. And I know what you're thinking. No. <laughs> no, you need black people. You need black people to keep the whites in check. The last thing you want is a whole island of whites that think they're the coolest people on earth. It's a disaster. That's how you end up with Conor McGregor's walking around like, ah, dabba, 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 dabba. Dude, shut up, dude. The foreign whites are out of control. <laughs> American whites, we're humble. <laughs> we know we're not the coolest guys around. It's the foreign whites, dude. Is there, yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Preach, brother! Yeah. For real, though, there's a reason every good NBA player that's white is from another country. The audacity to think you could play in that league, dude. Oh. The fucking arrogance. Every white dude oh. in America saw a black kid dunk in like eighth grade and was just like, oh, all right. <laughs> there goes that dream. <laughs> just set picks for the next four years. <laughs> just box out hard as hell. You ever see an old lady fall? Like, my grandma fell. She was oh. trying to get the hose from behind her house, and she fell behind a bush. Should I act it out? Like, uh, <laughs> if you want. But it looked like the wild, the, uh, well, this is going to distract me, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're doing it, I was like, it looked like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, she fell, and then her feet were just sticking out from a bush. And she oh. laid there for like two hours. It was the oh. Whoa, wait. She, oh my God. <laughs> she she was Wizard of Oz did <laughs> where she was No, just, like oh. just her feet were sticking out from under a bush no. in her backyard. Oh, and wow. then a neighbor's kid found her. Oh, Which is very God. funny. Because if you don't have life alert and you're old, you just have to yell. Oh my God. But it's very faint if <laughs> you're, you're older. There, be like, Help. <laughs> oh. Isn't that funny? No. You guys don't think it's funny to have to lay there? I don't know if you know this. The war in the Middle East is just on the internet. The whole fucking thing. Every dude out there on both sides was wearing GoPros the entire time. 
Like, you can watch it. We watched, like, three hours of the war in Iraq. And after the first hour, I found myself starting to cheer. Not cheer, but, like, <laughs> relate. I felt like I could relate more to the Monkey Bars guys. You know what I mean? They were a little more my speed. You ever wonder how you would do out there? Watch those guys. Those are just normal fucking dudes. Second shots are fired. There's no game plan. They were just, oh, shit. <laughs> Very relatable. Guns jamming. Try to fire a rocket, it goes straight fucking backwards. <laughs> They're very, they look like me, trying to fire a gun. Their feet move when they shoot. <laughs> very relatable. They also have never won. They, ne they got fucked up every single time. Bad. They would blow up like one truck every five months. They'd be just as surprised as everybody. Shit finally worked out. You could hear it in their voice. Someone would blow up, they'd be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a human reaction. That's relatable. That's what I would do if I saw a fucking explosion. I'd go, oh! <laughs> that's human. You ever watch us kill people? I can't relate to that at all. There's some Black Hawk helicopter with night vision, mows down like 40 people. Pilot gets on, he just goes, clear. Just, <laughs> just flies away. It's like, you know, that's a psycho. That guy didn't give a fuck about that. This was fun. Yes. Absolutely. And even some of the ones that we've seen before. Watching them again was it's, still it's hilarious. Yeah. Yes. He just has a way of, like, changing my mood. Right. Like, a lot of the stuff with the special needs people, I feel right. guilty about laughing, but it's so right. funny. But you can tell that um, it seems like he does, like, charity work right. with uh, uh, special needs people. Mm -hmm. So he seems like a good guy as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, it, and the crazy thing, and I and I say this all the time, Shane Gillis, he's able to take some of the craziest situations mm -hmm. or the topics and then make them absolutely hilarious. hilarious. This guy yeah. is a true comedian. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm assuming that he's been around for a while, but he's just been under the radar. Yeah, because some of them um, looked old. Yeah, it looked very he old. He looked very different. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, I, I'm glad that we're, we're we have this reaction channel where we're discovering new comedians, mm -hmm. and then hopefully you really guys, good new are, comedians. yeah, yeah, and hopefully yeah. you guys are discovering these new comedians along with us, yeah. because Shane Gillis is somebody who I want to keep on the channel. He's one of my favorites. Yeah, now. yeah. I love the Trump impressions right. and the Biden impression. He didn't even have to say a word. He just said what and did right. the face. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was just fantastic. <laughs> I want to do more Shane Gillis. So um, feel free to leave some of his stand-up work in the comment section down yes. below. And if you want to see new comedians as well, feel free to leave those down as well. Absolutely. We also have memberships available on the channel now. So you can show exclusive yeah, comedy that uh, we can't show on YouTube. Yeah, so um, become a member today. Right. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye -bye.